Continuation of your stay in the nation, Mr. Baker has requested a moment here. It was my privilege last month to accept on behalf of the Cherokee Nation the Governor's commendation for the 2010 Workforce Investment Act as an, excuse me, as an outstanding business leader for the Eastern Workforce Investment Board. It's an annual event that's held by the Governor, and Diane Kelly represents Chief Smith on their board. And the award is for all of our work partnering and helping to bring businesses to the Cherokee Nation in Eastern Oklahoma, as well as help in retaining our existing businesses. And the award reads, the Governor's commendation is hereby presented to the Cherokee Nation in recognition of the business-driven leadership you have given to Oklahoma's workforce development system. Your contributions help the productivity of our economy and make our state a better place to live. Please accept my appreciation for your efforts and my personal best wishes for all your future endeavors. Signed, Brad Henry, Governor of Oklahoma. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Madam Speaker. <laughs> Madam Speaker. Yes, Dr. Bob. I'd, like, I'd like to add an, uh, amend the agenda to add an, uh, item number two, if that's at all possible. Um, I'd like to add the Voter District Amendment Act of 2010 as item number two on the agenda. On your, uh, your business, please. Second. Moved and second. Any discussion on amending the agenda? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Aye. Aye. Roll call. <coughs> yes, is you favor amending the agenda? Julia Coates? Yes. Bradley Cobb? Yes. Joe Crittenden? No. Jody Fishing Hawk? No. Paris Bradley? Yes. Janelle Fulbright? Yes. Don Garvin? Yes. Chuck Koskin Jr.? Yes. Tana Glory Jordan? No. Chris Snell? No. Curtis Snell? No. Kevin Thornton? Yes. Karen Cowan Watts? Yes. Bill Englund? Yes. Bill John Baker? Yes. Jack Baker? Yes. Harley Buzzard? No. We have 12 yes and 5 no. 12 yes and 5 no. Uh, the agenda is amended. Did Mr. Hoskin, did you have a question? Madam Speaker, I cast the wrong vote. I meant to cast a no vote. Okay. 11-6. Okay. The agenda is uh, amended. Madam Speaker. Two thirds. Two thirds. Oh, we need 12. Okay, the, the, we will not include that item on the agenda. Okay, um, there being no unfinished business, we we'll move on to committee reports. Mr. Sutherland. Good evening. Good evening. This all makes clear that Mr. Stewart is supposed to bring our presents. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
they don't, don't do well and, and then we don't give them the time to get uh, learn those skills. So we've changed our program to help those individuals learn fundamental interviewing skills and, and job seeking skills. So that's something that we have just now extended our uh, work to, which I think is a, a great tribute to uh, our department. So that's uh, my report. I'd be glad to answer any questions. You like. Questions, comments? Uh, Mr. Uh, Stuart, I was told here a while back at some point in time in the past um, you all were given okay to hire out of outside Indian preference when we was growing. No, we always hire preference. That's a standard procedure. We hire Cherokee preference first and then non Cherokee <coughs> native preference second. Okay, so back in the past you was never given that okay? No. Okay. And the other thing is, Stuart, there was something we was talking about legislative conference before this. And I'm wanting something, and we asked from it from admin, and I'm wanting to ask from it from you, so it won't hold anything up for tomorrow in meetings. Could you get us a copy by 9 o'clock tomorrow of the contracts that CNB, CNE has, and they signed with Wilcoxon and Wilcoxon? It's in relationships to a GRA I submitted to you several months ago. Yeah, actually, uh, we go through the process, or an established process, where we send it to the chief's office, and the chief's mm -hmm. office sends it to you. So if we can accomplish that, yeah, because it has to do with his appointment. And involved in that, um, and if Todd needs to draft a GRA tonight and say it depends on this appointment tomorrow, that's fine with me. Todd has my permission to use my name. I would like copies of any council checks to, wrote due to, to that, do, dealing with the same thing on the contracts. Okay. okay. I had to go through the process probably not in the morning at night for that, but we'll, we definitely will follow the process to get you that information. Any other questions? Yes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, David, I, I uh, continuing on the, the theme that uh, Chief Smith talked about a while ago, there are happy and healthy people. I, I haven't taken any exit polls on folks leaving our casinos as to who's happy and who's not. But uh, but I had per a reason to, to be in Salisaw the other day, and, I, and I'd never been in the casino down there that I could remember, and I popped in just to look around and look, look the place over. And I was hit immediately with some pretty heavy secondhand smoke or however many hands, I'm not sure, but it was it was pretty heavy. And some of the folks in there even suggested that maybe uh, we, there might be a different ventilation or something that's coming. And uh, that that's a concern of mine is, is what's it doing to our people, not, not, not just the ones frequenting the place, but the ones actually in there every day heavy in there. So well, we take a look in fact uh, at uh, Hard Rock, we just invested to increase the airflow yeah. uh, and bring a lot of, just a lot of that facility uh, up to a higher standard. Uh, so we're in the process of looking at all the properties and trying to improve that uh, with heavy investment okay. across the country. Okay, that was just a concern I had, David. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you ma'am. Any other questions, comments? Thank you, Mr. Stewart. <coughs> there being no old business pending, we move on to new business. Uh, we have one item uh, that came out of Executive and Finance. It's an act authorizing Mod 2 to the 2011 budget. Mr. Baker? Thank you, Madam Speaker. <coughs> this Mod 2 includes over $13 million in grants, which includes from the Department of Transportation, $6,900,000 for road construction, from the Department of the Interior, Million three hundred seventy-one thousand, which includes five hundred fourteen thousand for <coughs> education for Squaya High School, as well as eight hundred twenty-four thousand for special ed. For the Department of Human Services, is three million four hundred fifty-eight thousand for increases on the community anti-drug network. From HUD is eight hundred thirty-three thousand for the Redbird Fairfield Road water line and housing projects. For the Department of Labor for Career Services for on the job training is 833000 It also includes changes in our mod of 1442000 which includes 872000 from the Department of the Interior for the water and sewer projects, 130000 for Squaya High School, from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. 136,000, and also from the HASDA, 
$133,000. This increases our budget by $15,332,000 for total budget authority of $599,305,000. And I make a motion that we approve it. Second. Second. Any discussion? Any discussion? By acclamation, please. By acclamation. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Okay. Any announcements? Uh, Ms. Watts. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My uh, community meeting is this Thursday, December 16th from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Will Rogers Memorial. And oh, I'm sorry. Um, I believe Janelle Fulbright had a birthday on Saturday. Buell Anglins is tomorrow, and uh, Chief Smith wow. and Bobby Gale are also Christmas babies. So. <laughs> Any other announcements? Our next meeting is January 10 at 6 o'clock p.m. right here. I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Wow, look at that. Good meeting, children. <laughs>